Last spring, Governor Gavin Newsom ordered every school in California to close. We've seen the physical and mental health of our children rapidly decline. Increases in child isolation, suicide, anxiety, and depression have been the unwelcome result. We've seen parents struggle to keep their jobs while also trying to force their kids to study online at home. In the meantime, private schools were allowed to reopen, and that's great for parents who can afford it, but for most parents, that's not an option. So now it's been almost a year and public schools are still closed. Recently, the governor and the Democratic legislators announced a so-called plan to reopen schools. But they're just throwing money at the problem, walking away, and claiming victory. Turns out their plan is phony and doesn't require one school to reopen. Wait a minute, a school reopening plan that doesn't reopen one school? Are you kidding me? Republicans offered amendments to require schools to reopen, but the Democrat legislators defeated them. Democrat leaders are trying to score political points at the expense of kids, parents, and teachers. The governor is dancing to the tune of union leaders who want to use reopening negotiations as leverage against schools. Newsom so casually ordered schools closed last spring, yet now he is afraid to order them open. Hmm. Union politics versus children's education. Which is Newsom's priority? Seems pretty clear it's not our public school kids. Experts at the CDC and the AMA tell us schools are the safest place for kids and teachers. Most other states never had to close their schools or have already reopened them, yet California schools remain locked. Newsom sends his kids to private schools, so they're already back in the classroom. And the governor wonders why People are signing recall petitions at historic rates. Hypocrisy, Governor. That's why. I'm Senator Brian Jones.